Today, I'm gonna show you how to do a mini porchetta. Just my little variation on it. The porchetta is beautiful, but it's a big joint and um, can be a bit impractical at times unless you've got a lot of people around. So um, yeah, just put this little mini porchetta together. Um, it's just quick and easy, great mid-week. So yeah, let's show you the ingredients. First things first, you just remove a little bit of silver on the top. Super easy to do this, just run the knife just underneath and it always push it away and hold it on the top. Work your way to the end nice and carefully. Do the same until it is all removed. Do this at home or you can get your butcher to do it. So now it's going to butterfly out, so we're going to just run the knife down, not cutting all the way through, just want to fan it out ready to um, flatten. You should be left with something that looks like that, cut about two thirds of the way through, so that's just going to lay nice and flat. Cool, so you can see we've laid our pork in between two sort of polythene sheets. You can use bags, it's just to protect the pork when we are going to hammer it out nice and flat. So yeah, let's get a time lapse going. Perfect, so we've got our chipotle chili flakes, fennel seeds crushed up in there. Next thing you can do is give it a salt and pepper. That in there. Nice covering all over. Just going to sprinkle this mix on. Nice covering of that. Get it all out. So you just put the head off one side and then yeah, get another time lapse going because this takes some time. I'm going to chop in this, the easiest way is to have use the back part of the knife, you rest your hands, flat fingers up and just rock the knife around, pressing, chopping. You can get Real nice fine cut in a safe manner because if you slip, fingers are safe because they're flat and out of the way. You can just pivot the knife around to get a nice fine. Perfect. So the last step is just to roll. So you want to get a nice tight roll because you want that spiral effect in the meat. So I'm just going to really focus, make sure we push these edges in all the way along, get a nice tight roll to create that awesome spiral effect that we want. If you was pinning this with cocktail sticks I would do it like this so you've got the flap on top and you could just pin all the way along the flap because if it's underneath see not going to be able to push it all the way through if you hit the block, so it's better to do it this way up. As we're tying, I'm just going to put that flat down for presentation. Yeah. And let's get a, um, a little hyperlapse going again. We'll show you one knot. So you come over, create a U with your finger, pinch it, you go over and under and then the best thing to do with this is because it's quite delicate you just pull the knot down so it's quite tight and that'll just hold it in place while you tie it off otherwise that won't happen 
tines done. Just going to trim the ends up. Just neaten it off. And then the moment of truth. So you've got a lovely little spiral effect there. Yeah, that's what they should look like. <laughs>